Hey guys, welcome to my channel, it's Alina. As you may already know, I am very international and I love to talk about my travels, but this video is gonna be a bit different. I've decided to experiment on the topics on my channel and I've seen so many comments of people asking me to speak Russian or even to teach Russian. So in this video we're gonna talk about the Slavic languages, learning Slavic languages and later on I'm gonna jump on a call with a friend of mine from Ukraine and we're gonna compare differences between the Ukrainian and the Russian languages and if you're interested in the Russian culture, learning Slavic languages or learning languages overall, this video is gonna be informative and interesting to you. Slavic languages check, let's go! So, nowadays there are overall 12 Slavic languages in the world. Russian, Belarusian... I'm so sorry about this. Ukrainian, Czech, Slovak, Slovenian, Lower Sorbian, Upper Sorbian, Bulgarian, Macedonian and Serbo-Croatian. So, those are 12 Slavic languages that exist in the modern world. And I know that there is a stereotype among foreigners that all the Slavs kind of have the same culture and that all these languages are almost the same or very similar. And I know that there is even a joke among Ukrainians that they're always being confused with Russians. Let's say they say that they're from Ukraine and then people start asking them questions about Putin or Russia and they continue saying that they're from Ukraine and not from Russia and some foreigners even confuse Ukraine and they think that it's a part of Russia but it's a different country with different language and different culture and all of the Slavic languages are very different. It is very wrong to suppose that communication between two Slavs just because both of them speak a Slavic language is possible without any language learning or linguistic complications. Actually, the differences in languages and dialects in phonetics, grammar and especially vocabulary are very different uh, and they may cause misunderstandings even in the simplest conversations and the differences would be even greater in the language of journalism, technical usage, even in the closest languages like Ukrainian and Russian. The differences between Polish, Ukrainian and Russian so forth have more to do with vocabulary rather than grammar. The grammar is quite similar, but the vocabulary is very different. So if a Russian hears Ukrainian speech, he might understand a bit, but some words would be completely different. So they wouldn't make any sense to a Russian. And I actually would compare these to Italian, Spanish and French, because those languages also have very similar words. So if you know French, you could understand some words from Italian. Spanish speakers would understand some Italian, but even if you understand it, you are not able to speak it. And it is the same here with Ukrainian and Russian. Now a little background check, guys. Slavic languages is a group of Indo-European languages spoken in Eastern Europe, some parts of Central Europe, much of Balkans and northern part of Asia. And in the 21st century, it is spoken by more than 315 million of people. So the Slavic uh, language speakers is a large group of people, while the Russian speakers is the largest group. Moreover, Russian is also spoken by the inhabitants of countries of former Soviet Union. So countries like Ukraine, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan and other countries of former Soviet Union, they also speak Russian and usually they have Russian at schools and they also have Russian books. Um, well, now I'm gonna jump in a call with Yulia. She's from Ukraine and she is a native Ukrainian speaker. And we're gonna compare Russian and Ukrainian. We're gonna see if I can understand her because I've never learned Ukrainian. Some words are said to be similar. So we're gonna see if I'm able to understand her and she's also gonna give me some article and I'm gonna see if I can understand it or not. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> Let's do it. Here she is. Hi, Yulia. Hi. Yulia is a native Ukrainian speaker. So, Yulia, I wanted to talk to you about Russian and Ukrainian languages. I know that Russian is used as a second language in Ukraine, so 
If I only spoke Russian and went to Ukraine, would I be understood by everyone? Yes, I think so, you would. But if someone from Ukraine speaks Ukrainian to you, you'll probably not understand at least most of the things they say. <laughs> Are there regions in Ukraine where people only speak Ukrainian and don't understand Russian? Mm, I think Western Ukraine, yeah, they mostly speak Ukrainian and they may not understand Russian, but the Central Ukraine and Eastern Ukraine, they actually, I would say they mostly speak Russian, at least half of the people. Uh, Russian is also as used as Ukrainian there, so they will definitely understand you. Yeah, so if I didn't learn Ukrainian and went to Ukraine, I would be good with Russian. Yeah, you would be good. Yes, and what about your family? What language do you speak with your parents? And when you were born, what was the first language you spoke, Russian or Ukrainian? Okay, I was born in Eastern Ukraine and most people there, they speak Russian. Uh, sometimes Russian mixed with Ukrainian, you know, like three words in Russian and then one word in Ukrainian and mix it. <laughs> But still main language in my city was Russian. That's why Russian is my mother language. But I learned Ukrainian at school and the TV programs, a lot of them at least, were in Ukrainian. That's why I also knew Ukrainian. And what about books, news? Uh, in Ukraine, are they mainly in Russian or Ukrainian? Well, I guess now they are mainly in Ukrainian, but when I lived there, like seven years ago, <laughs> uh, it was possible to find things in Russian and in Ukrainian, but now everything is mostly in Ukrainian. So now let's try to compare the words in Russian and Ukrainian, and we're gonna see if they're similar or not, and if I'm able to understand Yulia. To say hi in Russian, I say привет. What about Ukrainian? Uh, it's привет um, or vitanya. Okay, so the first one was very similar. And to say hi in a formal way in Russian it is Здравствуйте. Добрый день. Добрый день. But Добрый день. Okay. Uh, how are you? Is как дела? Як справы? This one is so different. I wouldn't understand it. I'm glad to meet you. Is рада знакомству. Рада знакомству. Mm, similar, I would understand it. Uh, welcome to Russia would be Добро пожаловать в Россию. Ласкаво просимо в Україну. Wow, completely different. Um, my name is Elena would be Меня зовут Elena. Мене звати Юлія. Okay, now could you tell about like where you study or some things and I will try to understand it. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> uh, мене звати Юлія, мені 22 роки. Uh, я народилася в Україні, але з 15 років живу в Росії. Я навчаюся в університеті, uh, в магістратурі, вивчаю психологію, працюю психологічним консультантом. Консультант. Uh, so me... for me it was like I can understand two words, then three words, I don't understand anything, then one word in Russian, and then two words I don't understand. It was like this for me. <laughs> Ukrainian sounds so funny for Russians, I think. It's like diverse Russian or something like this, because I can understand parts, but not the whole speech. How to say I love you in Russian? Я люблю тебя. Я тебя кохаю. Кохаю? Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, and how to say thank you in Russian спасибо. Дякую. Дякую. And Yulia also sent me a fairy tale from Ukraine and I'm gonna try to read it and understand it. So the Cyrillic alphabet is kind of the same so I can read it. The letters are same in Russian except one letter it is like in English like I in English. How do you read it? E. E? Ah, so mm -hmm. E. But what about Russian E? E. E. Okay, I'm gonna try to read it. Жили собі дід 
та баба. Вже й старі стали, а дітей нема. Was it, was it right? Well, almost. Like, it is so, okay. so weird. It is like Russian, but all the letters are reversed or mixed or something. <laughs> Thank you so much, Yulia, for this call. And for the end, how to say goodbye in Ukrainian? In Russian, it is до свидания. До побачення. How? До побачення. До побачення. До побачення. До побачення. Я? Ночення. До побачення. До побачення. So, guys, you see, Ukrainian is difficult even for Russian. So, those are completely different languages. До побачення. To conclude, if I were to start learning Slavic languages and I didn't know which one to start with, I would start with Russian because it's the biggest, biggest in terms of number of speakers. If you go to Russia or any other country of the former Soviet Union, you can use Russian and you will be understood in the countries of former Soviet Union because they use it as a second language. So it's a huge advantage. And also Russian writers and Russian classical literature is famous all around the world. So you will be able to read amazing books in Russian. And when you go to Russia, you will be able to understand people as not so many Russians speak English actually. And also you will be able to understand the culture because in order to understand Russians and its culture, it's better if you speak Russian. Well, that was it, I guess. This was a very uncommon video for my channel. Please like it if the topic was interesting so that I will know that I should make more videos about it. And in the comments write if you are already learning Russian or Slavic languages or why you are interested in Slavic languages. I really want to know the reasons because I think that learning Slavic languages is not so popular around the world. Thank you for watching till the end. I really appreciate it and goodbye guys.